So, so guys, guys, we, we did, did it. it. 69,420 subscribers. Something of a million subscribers and still growing. <laughs> You see, it's obviously less than three. Okay, as always on this channel, we have reached such a milestone, my boys, and I didn't think I would reach it this year. Okay, I thought this year all my subscribers would amount to like 55,000, but now we are nearly at 70,000, and, and, and this is so crazy. I, I, I don't know what to say. I just love working with you. I love interacting with you down there in the comments. You are the greatest community I could possibly think of. You are so a Mimi and, and nice to me and nice to each other in the comments. And, and you are just great. You guys are so fucking fantastic. And f thank you for staying with me. Thank you for watching my content. Thank you for supporting me even financially. I, I love you guys and I appreciate you. And we are going to dive right in. We are going to find a prime factorization of 69,420, the second most important subscriber milestone you could possibly get next to 250,000 subscribers just for the pyrocynical memes okay <sighs> I don't know how we are going to do it I think we are just going to see stuff out okay just a simple uh, prime number sieve right here and I hope we are not going to end up with any huge prime factors if we do then we are pretty much fucked because checking if a big number is prime is kind of a really hard task okay <sighs> I don't want this video to take ages we are going to dive right in now it's obviously divisible by two because even number, right? Okay, so 69,420 is two times something. Now what is it two times something? Okay, this is nearly 70,000, so it's a bit less than 35,000, so 34,000 something. Then if we were to have 500, then we would get to 69,000. But we also need to get to 420, meaning half of 420 is 210, is going to give us 710, right? Yes. Okay, should do trick if you multiply this by two. Yes, exactly. Okay, the first step is indeed correct. And it's yet another even number, so we can drag out another two. So two times what is 34,710. So, do not judge me for my calculations, okay? It's, okay, if we were to get to 35,000, we would have um, exactly, uh, right, we would have um, 70,500, but we don't want to get here because this is a bit too much, okay? This is 35,000, meaning we have 290 that we need to get rid of over two. Okay, um, this is not an equal sign, this is something else. Okay, this is some, some weird operation. This makes 145, so 145, meaning this is 17,000. 17, um, 355, if you multiply this by two, ten, seven, yes, exactly. Okay, second one done. Now, it ends with a 5, so this is actually pretty good, okay? This thing is obviously divisible by 5, meaning we have 2 squared times 5 times something. Now, if we want to get to 17,355, okay, let me see. This is something like, um, Okay, 175 divided by 5. Okay, I hope you can see where this is going. It's going to give us, okay, this makes 20 and 45, right? For, no, not, for 35, okay? 35. Um, let me see. Five, 35, yes, exactly 35. And if we pull two more zeros here, this should do trick. Now we are a bit too high, just like before 145, too high, okay, over five. This is going to give us 20, 29, okay, 29, meaning 3500 minus 29 is actually going to give us, okay, this is the weird operation yet again. Um, 3,471. Okay, Gucci. Does this work out? This times 5, 5, and then we're 35. Yes, this, yes, 
this should look, oh yes, exactly. This is actually right, I'm, I'm so glad. <laughs> this right here is actually an improvised session, okay. Now, um, we have sieved out the two and the five, so we still have the three to go. Maybe this does work out, so 3300, okay, is divisible by three, so this is good. Then plus, I would like to decompose this and see if it's divisible by three. There, there are other tricks, for example, you could take the, the digit sum, so this makes three, this is seven, seven plus eight is 15, that's divisible by three, so this thing is divisible by three because we have taken the digit sum. Okay, we have three plus four plus seven plus one, and this is going to give us 15 and 15 um, is divisible by 3, okay, so 3 divides 15, this is something that works, or we can decompose it like this, 3300 plus, okay, this, this makes 171, 171 is nothing other than 180 minus 9, that's divisible by 3, divisible by 3, divisible by 3, it's divisible by 3. So sieving works out quite nicely here, so I'm pretty glad it does. So we have 2 squared times 3 times 5, times oh what are we actually going to end up with okay um this makes actually okay let's keep up with this calculation so this makes 1100 okay now we have this makes 60 so plus 60 minus 3 is going to give us 1000 um okay minus uh, pl plus 60 157 does this look good? Yes, it does. Okay, 1,157. Uh, okay. Now we received out two, three, and five. And now we can just hope for the best. We are going into the finals. Okay, my boys and girls. Okay, if we were to have the number seven, is this thing divisible by seven? Okay, we have 1,400. Um, that's divisible by 7, but minus 243. Um, is this divisible by 7? 143 is, uh, 243 is nothing other than 140. That's divisible by 7, not, not 3, by, by 7. Um, plus 103, and 103 is not divisible by 7 because we have 70, and then plus 28 or plus 22, no, it, 35, so, so 105 would be divisible by 7, so 7 doesn't work out. Then we have 9, then we have 11, 9, 11, okay, a really cool thing, no? uh, you, you know, um, 11. Um, th there's this one cool trick from number theory yet again, okay, from elementary number theory. If you take the alternating digit sum and it's going to amount to zero overall, we are going to end up with a number that's divisible by 11, meaning we have 1 minus 1 is 0, plus 5 minus 7 is negative 2, which is not 0, meaning it's not divisible by 11. Now, next prime factor would be 13. There was this other thing. Um, those numbers 13, um, 17, 19 have those cool pro properties if you take the last digits for example, so for 13 we are going to take the last digit, so here's a bit of number theory facts, 1, 1, 5, okay, and the last digit times 4 and we are going to add it to the truncated thing right here, so um, this makes 28, meaning we are going to get uh, 100, 43. Now we are going to repeat this process up until we get something that's divisible by 13. Meaning, now 14 plus 3 times 4 is going to give us 14 plus 12 is 26, which is divisible by 13. This is cool. Yeah, this, this actually checks out. Meaning this thing right here is 2 squared. So it's divisible by 13, this thing right here, okay? This is just some number theory trick. 2 squared times 3 times 5 times 13 times... Okay, what times 13 gives us 1,157? Let me see. Um, the closest one is 1,300 minus 
143. 143 is exactly 130 plus 13, right? So this makes 11. So we have 100 minus 11 gives, uh, gives us 89. 89, okay. Now we need to find the prime factors of 89. I can only sieve out, so that's the only real thing I can do. So, so it's not even, so we don't have two. Now we have three times something. No, so we have two, doesn't work out. We have three, doesn't work out because it's sandwiched between 87 and 90, which are both divisible by three. Now we also have the number five, which is not, this thing is not divisible by five. Okay, by, by seven, we have 70 plus 21, okay, doesn't work out. Seven doesn't work out. Okay, now we also have number 11. No, doesn't work out. Eight minus nine is negative one. Then we have 13. No, this also doesn't work out because, um, yeah, I don't, it just doesn't work out with those numbers that we already get at. So 13 times something can be 89. It's just something that does not work out. Okay. Um, Next up is 17. 17 times 4 makes 40. Okay, then we have 68 plus 17 is 85. No, it doesn't work out. 17. After that, we have um, 19. 19 times 10 gives us 190 divided by 2 is going to give us. No, it doesn't work out. Okay. It just doesn't work out, okay, 95 and then less. And also we have 23, 23 times four, 92, no. Then we have um, 29, right? Okay, 29 times three is already, no, 87. It's going to give us 87, doesn't work out. And this actually does it. Be, be, um, this, this thing right here is a prime number, okay? I hope you can see why it is the case. Because now we, we have found all the prime factors that it could possibly have as a lower bound. And yeah, it just doesn't work out. So if we have 31, it's, it's not even. So all the prime numbers bigger don't work out be, because two times something is, is always not the case. It, it's not even. And if we have three times something right here, three times 31 is going to give us 93, which is going to exceed 89 already. So this thing is a prime number, meaning this thing right here is actually our prime factorization. Okay, sieving out stuff is, <laughs> is a pretty nice task, but it takes ages. And yeah, um, pretty cool that we actually found it. I, I hope this right here is correct. If it's not, I'm going to hang myself. Yes, 69,420 subscribers. This is fucking amazing. Love you guys, my boys. I'm going to drink something. Arizona ICT days. Before we actually end the video, I would like to thank today's sponsor, Preen.org, for sponsoring this very video right here. Preen.org is an online learning platform where you can do daily exercises and you can hone your math skills all day long as much as you want. You can use the link in the description to get free access to Preen.org or you are going to get 20% off your annual premium subscription. Okay, so the first 200 people to sign up using my link get this nice thing. And if you would like to learn something about prime factorizations, just like I did, and maybe some cool number theory tricks, like the one with the 13, then Preen.org is the perfect site for you because they offer a lot of daily exercise and the daily exercises are a really cool thing because you can try out a lot. You can pause and ponder and try out the exercises for yourself. And even if you put in the wrong solutions, it's it's also totally fine. So, so it really doesn't matter because you are going to get your solutions after that. They are community crafted and by praying crafted solutions to each and every exercise and that's a really cool thing and if you are an active learner like me then maybe brilliant is something for you because you can just go ahead and learn as much stuff as you would like and and like i said you can get free access to brilliant.org so so if this feels like something for you try it out take a look at top of the description there will be a link brilliant.org slash flamble maths and yeah you can support the channel this way a lot so this is like so much of a support to the channel <laughs> 
If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and recommend channel if you like. If you want to support channel a bit more, buy those t-shirts, I create also support channel on Patreon. Up until next video, have a flammable day. See ya. Thank you for subscribing to my channel and for staying with me for such a long time. Love you guys.